Do you remember as a teenager hitting puberty and finally having to deal with body odor? There are the kids, there are the, the humans that uh, are good at the beginning. Like their parents hand them a stick of deodorant, say this is how you need to take care of yourself and they're, they're good. They never have to be reminded again. They just, they take care of themselves. And then there were those of us who just didn't care and kept on living our life uh, until either we got tired of hearing our parents like go take a shower, put on deodorant, or maybe a peer made fun of us or a teacher talked to us, or maybe that we finally had an interest in someone and realized that bad BO would impact our chances. Regardless of how it started, at some point, we decided to make an effort to take care of ourselves. And now, as adults, we don't have to work at it. We take showers, we put on deodorant without putting thought into it. It happens quite automatically. And for those of us who struggle with keeping a clean home, that's all we have to do. We just need to get ourselves into the habit of taking care of our home, just like we've gotten ourselves into the habit of taking care of ourselves. Whew. Almost lost it. We're all capable of establishing habits to keep our home clean automatically, on autopilot. Just like knowing when we need to take a shower and put on deodorant and not having to put much thought into it, we can know when we need to do the dishes and clean the counters off without making it a big deal, without having to set aside time to deal with the house. And before we talk about the steps that we need to take every single day to make sure that our home is maintained, uh, if you are struggling with overwhelm, if that's why you're here is because you, you're just overwhelmed with everything and you don't know where to start, then watch this video over here in the corner instead. I'll also link it in the video description below of what to do if you are overwhelmed with your home. But if you're here for a list of what you need to do every day, every week to maintain your home, then uh, here's what I do. And please remember that I'm not an immaculate housekeeper. If you come and move my refrigerator, you're gonna see a bunch of dust bunnies under my refrigerator because I don't pull the fridge out to sweep underneath it regularly. I do want my home to be enjoyable. I want to not be embarrassed of it, but I don't stress about deep cleaning on a regular basis or having that scheduled in. So I have daily tasks and then I have weekly tasks. I spend time every day cleaning in the sense that I, I do the dishes and wash all the counters off. And then once a week, I do the, the actual house cleaning where I clean the bathroom and I wash sheets and I sweep the floors and mop and those type of things. As far as the daily tasks go, I wash the dishes in the morning and evening clear everything off from the kitchen where I just put everything away and then I wipe off the counters and stove. And in the beginning, I did that twice a day, every day. I had my, my chart set up to keep track and that's what I did. These days, it's such a habit that I don't think about it. I don't have to have a chart system set up for myself and I do it pretty much every time I'm done using the kitchen. So if I come in and cook, make a lunch in the kitchen, I will clean up after myself without thinking about it. In the beginning, that's all I required of myself. I had to make it so easy that it seemed silly for me not to do it. What I consider stupid easy. It was just, it was so basic and so easy that I, it seemed silly to come up with excuses and procrastinate like this like all I had to do I, I didn't require a huge laundry list of myself these days I have a little more added in where I 
I loosely make the bed, not pristine, no pillows, no like it's just sort of covered. <laughs> And when I had more kids at home, I washed a load of laundry every single day. Washed, dried, fold, put away. When you do just a small amount on a consistent basis, you never have to spend a whole lot of time doing it. Whereas I used to save up all those tasks for as long as possible. So for dishes, it would be like every three days, I would absolutely have to wash the dishes. And then it would take hours to get the kitchen all cleaned up. And it was, oh, it was really unpleasant. And the laundry, I would wait as long as possible till we ran out of socks and underwear. So, you know, two, three weeks. And then we'd have this huge amount of laundry saved up and, oh gosh, it was just, no one wanted to do it. I didn't want to do it. Who wants to deal with three weeks worth of laundry? I do for the daily things and then weekly is when we do all the other house cleaning so normally the kids and Brian pitch in we all work together but what we focus on is cleaning the bathroom which means inside and outside of the toilet the tub the shower walls the sink and sweep and mop the floor then we clean the kitchen which is the sink, wipe off all the counters, wash the front of the appliances, sweep and mop. And then the living room, which is dusting, dusting all the surfaces, sweeping, mopping, cleaning the couch. And that's it. Everything else in our home is done on a need to basis. Like I don't schedule in the seasonal stuff. I do it when it annoys me, when I notice it. So. You know, every now and then I'll be like, the light fixtures are really dirty. Like this one, which is, <laughs> it's been a while. I need, I need to clean it, but I don't do it consistently. I just do it when it bugs me and that works for me. I don't want a long list of things to do every day in order to keep my house clean. I, I still would rebel at that if, if I printed out a list for myself that was, you know, 10, 20 things long, I would not want to do it. I would just be like, no way. I want the bare minimum. And by embracing minimalism, all of those things are easier. It's easier to dust the surfaces when there's nothing on them. It's easier to vacuum when there's not as much furniture. And when I do the dishes twice a day, it takes less than 10 minutes, which is because I have a limited amount of dishes and everything is just, I don't know, it just goes so much smoother when we're in the habit of doing it. I should, should probably wear an apron for this. I don't do very good remembering to wear aprons, but it keeps my clothes nicer. So <laughs> thinking about this, why do we have jobs? Well, we have jobs because we have a certain standard of living that we want to uphold. We want a home, we want a car, we want to be able to, to travel, to eat, to have warm clothes to wear or air conditioning in the summer, things like that. So in order to have the lifestyle that we want, we have to work and earn an income. That's the exchange. If we don't work, we don't get a paycheck. If we don't get a paycheck, we don't get this lifestyle that we want to live. Likewise, if we want to live in a home that we're not embarrassed about, then we have to put in some work to keep it tidy. That's the exchange for it. In order to have a clean home, I have to do the work. And because I'm lazy and I don't want to spend 
three hours dusting all the knickknacks in my living room on a regular basis. I got rid of all the clutter so that dusting takes me like maybe three minutes at most to get all the tops of all the tops of the pictures, the tops of the services. It just doesn't take very long because there's such a minimal amount of things that get dusty. I don't want to have to spend a lot of time vacuuming around intricate pieces of furniture, so I got rid of the coffee table and everything except what was truly essential. And then it doesn't take me very long to sweep, mop, vacuum, all of those things. And I don't want to spend time ever, ever <laughs> ironing clothes. I just, I do not want to spend my time doing that. So I got rid of all of the clothes that required ironing. That's what minimalism means to me. That's what it does for me. It makes having the home that I want, this clean, tidy, welcoming home, easier. I do want this welcoming clean home and reducing everything that we own to just the minimal amount means that it's easier to keep it that way and I don't have to spend hours every day cleaning the home because the tasks that we have to do on a daily basis or even on a weekly basis take so much less time. If you would like help cementing these daily tasks, these habits into your life so that they become automatic and your home becomes one that feels manageable to you, I created the Home Reset Checklist. They are editable PDFs so you can modify what's written in there to meet your needs, to make your home the way you want it to be. So I have my suggestions up there for how I learned to maintain my home and then you can edit them however you see fit. I'll put the link to the Home Reset Checklists in the video description below.